What is up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. Um, that's my parent show in the background. And it's pretty late at night. It's 8.57 p.m. I'm definitely going to be getting less than 8 hours of sleep because I'm waking up at 4.40 a.m. tomorrow. Probably 5. I'll probably sleep in until 5. Um, but um, all day I was doing my schoolwork and I was also messing with Obsidian. Hence why I'm going to bed rather late. Um, check this out. So, um, today I think I did, um, I worked primarily on, um, container methods. Yeah, so I did this stuff with, um, container methods, and that, that was pretty interesting. Um, and also, like, containers broadly. I just do containers, so I've got a note for lists, I've got a note for sets, I've got a note for tuples, um, and a note for named tuples. If you're if you're really into into that, um, and I just finished my uh, note for for dictionaries. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm happy about it. Um, some stuff I did I did in Obsidian today was I increased the. Um, so despite there being sort of a big window for editable text here, um, only like sort of a small strip is editable. So you can see here, like there are kind of just invisible bars on the sides here. So um, what I did was I added a, um, a CSS snippet where I just have custom line width. So I brought it from uh, I believe I can actually just look. Because I have Z oxide, I could just do CD snippets and I'm there. Um, yeah, so the default was 700 pixels. I increased it to, to 800 pixels. Um, uh, I also added, I don't know if I talked about this yesterday, but I added this birth property here. Um, for the creation date of the file. Um, and I think I remember why uh, the, my, the creation date for my notes went wrong. And it's because, um, say, I need to change a whole bunch of stuff across the entire vault. Like say I need to rename um, a link to a note across an entire vault. Um, I open up my vault in VS Codium and I do a replace all um, I could probably just do something in Vim, but I don't really know how to do it. I just do a replace all in VS Codium to replace all of my uh, stuff. Uh, but the thing is, let me make sure I can show this. Uh... Okay, cool, that works. Um, so here I am in my docs folder, which is where vault is, where my vault is. And you'll notice I have my primary vault directory, but I also have a directory called vault backup. Um, and the reason why is before I do these sort of risky replace all maneuvers, I always did cp-rpv uh, vault, vault backup. And that's how I just backed up my vault really quick before I did anything. Um, and the thing was, the reason why I went for RPV, well, R is for recursive, which you need to do if you're copying a folder. Uh, v is for verbose, which is, uh, I'm really tired. There's a word for it. It's unnecessary because, um, Because if you look at my ZH, ZSHRC, um, you'll see that I actually have verbose, just alias to CP, so I don't really need to add V, but I'd like to, because it's a good habit in case I'm on a system that doesn't have my very specific ZSHRC. Um, and the reason why I went for P, um, aside from R and V, the reason why I went for the P flag is because I did CP dash dash help. And I saw P and I was like, oh, preserve. Okay, I guess that preserves everything I want. That preserves the creation date and everything. And that's how you do it. Uh, so I did RPV uh, and I didn't really read much, too much closelier. That's not a word, but I didn't read it too closely. I didn't realize that it 
doesn't, if you just run P on its own, it doesn't do anything. You have to specify the attributes that you want. What I wanted was dash A, archive, which is the same as dash dash preserve equals all. Um, so at some point recently, I do recall this, but I don't remember exactly what caused it. Um, something did go wrong. So I did CP dash dash RPV vault backup vault, which overwrote my normal vault with my backup. But the thing is, is when I copied my vault to my vault backup, I didn't preserve the creation dates. That's, that's how I lost my creation dates. So now I know uh, to do CP dash R A V vault vault backup if I want to preserve the creation dates because uh, A does what I thought P did. And that's why you should read the docs. Luckily, it's a pretty low stakes problem, but it's still annoying. Um, and uh, on the bright side, it did incentivize me to have a uh, birth property up here. Um, what else? I got an extension that uh, tells me the number of notes in a folder. The reason why is because I kind of have these master notes, uh, like in container methods, I have a folder. In container methods, I have a whole bunch of um, links to notes of all the notes inside of the container methods folder. And this is a folder note called container methods. Um, and I just have this. So then if I ever want to look at all my container methods at once in a scrollable list, I can just click on here and I can go through all my notes, right? Um, and so the thing is, is that, um, what, um, but I need to manually add this whenever I add something inside of the container methods folder. Um, and so previously I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, and I'd have to count them, uh, which is going to suck when I have more, uh, container methods in here. So the thing I decided to do was just to know how many notes are in container methods, which is 15. So now I can be like four, well, I can do um, like 17, I could do subtraction and it works. I've also been working with a serif font and uh, that's pretty interesting. I've never really used a serif font in a note taking app before and I, I kind of like it. It's kind of old school and I like it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, see you, dude.